Hi, this is Kim from Emerging Creatively Tutorials at KimberlyKohler.com. Although I usually teach how to make jewelry and different jewelry techniques and tips, I also have had an art journal fascination, especially of late, and I've been sharing um, some of my pages and some of my different journals over at KimberlyKohler.com and on a couple of videos on YouTube as well. And I just got a new journal, which I'm so excited about that I wanted to share it with you. So here I am making a video. <laughs> so this is the journal, and I love it because I love the color. I love this little thing on the, the binding here. Um, I love that it says Paris and everything's all kind of in French. And then it's really cool because it has craft paper inside, but it has three different kinds. So it has lined, and then it has graph, and then it has plain, which actually I found um, out later. I didn't notice this at first. It's perforated. It's perforated on the side, but also in the middle. That sort of annoyed me at first, um, but then I thought, well, I can just use it as a full page anyway, and it's probably cool that I can rip out a page if I want to. And it really appealed to me because I actually like to do all kinds of journaling, so I usually write every day. I also like to do art journaling of all different kinds, so um, I love this journal. It's also a great size, like it's not too big, but it's not too small. Um, so you can do a nice page without it taking up a lot of room. Um, so those are the reasons I love this. Now I got this art journal at a store in downtown Lidditz, Pennsylvania, in the United States. And I don't know where to tell you to get this particular journal, um, unless you are around Lidditz or if you visit Lidditz, which I highly recommend. It's an adorable town. It's worth the drive. Um, um, the store I got this at was my favorite store, which is called Back Home Again. Um, and this has like all kinds of cute little quirky things. They have all kinds of things for fairies. They have all kinds of journals. They have jewelry. They have kind of home decor things, gift things, art. Um, I just, all kinds of cool things that I really love and you might love too. So um, I know they don't have a website yet. I think she said that they're working on that. Um, but if you come to Lidditz, um, you can find the store there. So I also um, subscribe to a membership site called Paper Clipping, which is all kinds of scrapbook tutorials. And recently, um, Noelle did a video for the membership um, about scrapbooking yourself even if you don't have pictures of yourself. And since I'm the main photographer in my family and the scrapbooker, there are often not pictures of me. There's very, very few pictures of me. And I don't actually do traditional scrapbooking. I do do pocket pages. I do Project Life. Um, but I still find her videos really inspirational. And actually, I took the idea that she had in that video and made my first art journal page in this book. Um, so actually, what this first page is about is about the store where I bought my journal. And um, she had suggested kind of using some different ideas of packaging and other sorts of things you could use for scrapbooking. So I kind of took that idea um, and used it in this page. So um, you'll see all this kind of green color, also this down here, this blue. This is all from the bag. They have the cutest bags for the store. And so I'm always saving them, but this time I actually had a pretty big bag because um, I bought some Christmas presents. So um, it was kind of a bigger scale. And so I cut out um, different elements that I like, and there's still a few more pieces that I have that I might use somewhere else for some other reason, some other time, but this is what I used here. So um, basically, I'll just take you through this if you want to see it. I guess if you don't, you can turn off the video. <laughs> anyway, um, I kind of started with, this is the, the binding that was around the, the, you know, the cover of the book, the kind of for sale thing. I put that here, and this is obviously the receipt, and 
it's already kind of fading and I'm pretty sure it's going to fade but actually the receipt's kind of interesting because I like that it has like information like the date on it but it's also kind of interesting if somebody would look back in time if this receipt makes it um, that this is one of the first receipts I've ever had where um, my debit card has a chip in it and that's kind of a new technology so I thought it was kind of cool that it said entry me method chip on it anyway <laughs> so I kind of took all these elements um, and glued them on and then um, I like this pretzel when it has the first pretzel factory in the United States so a lot of our stuff has pretzels on it and this bag happened to have a pretzel and although all the other pieces from the bag are green there was some of this blue color too but I just didn't want to randomly put that there with the blue without adding more blue so I took a stencil and added blue here too in fact I did that first and then I layered and then I wrote journaling about my store well you know it's not my store but my favorite store um, so a big shout out to back home again in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Go there if you get a chance. And also to paperclipping.com. Um, if you're into scrapbooking in any way, you probably are, well, you probably already heard of it. Um, and if you're just getting into it, it's a good place to go. She has this awesome um, podcast that I listen to, and that's kind of how I got into the membership. And also, I just want to say, you can kind of see on this page how my, um, how just inspiration comes from everywhere. So, it's not like I watched the video from Paper Clipping and thought, okay, now I'm going to scrapbook about myself. Like, I had to have this experience at the store. Um, I have this other journal now. Like, I got, I got a new journal, and so I was inspired to make a page. And then you know all the pieces kind of went in from there um, stenciling I bought stencil all these stencils and I learned how to use a stencil recently when I was on this scrap um, it was a scrapbook shop hop so we went to all kinds of different scrapbook stores around the area um, my mom and I did this a couple weeks ago and uh, the shops all had either make and takes or take and makes and so um, at one we sat and made a project and there was stenciling and I realized how cool it was and how fun it was and I got some stencils so that came in so I guess that just goes to say sometimes you're not directly inspired by something but um, kind of the sum of the total all leads to inspiration into a page so um, that's my page and I dated it and everything and I kind of think of it as memory keeping like maybe someday I'll come back to this years from now and be like oh look it was my favorite store and we'll see if it's still here if it's not maybe I'm not even living in Lidditz anymore and I'm somewhere else and it'll be like such a nice memory to have of this store so that is my new journal and that is the first page in it <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you soon